Good morning, welcome to another edition of Ed's Attention to Detail. Uh, you see that doing a little bit of work on a bike this morning, a couple things I need to take care of. Um, anyway, this is Ernie's bike and she came out this morning, nice morning, uh, she wanted to take a bike ride. Unfortunately, the uh, back tire on her uh, bike was flat and this inner tube's got a, a small pinhole in it. Now I could patch this, but um, we went to the store and the price of the patch kit was actually a little bit more expensive than just getting a new inner tube. So we decided to just go ahead and replace the inner tube because there ain't no telling uh, that inner tube's kind of old. It's been in there for a while and uh, who knows that it might have another weak area in it if I patch it. Um, I, I might be repeating that process again soon. So like I said, we decided to just go ahead and uh, opt for the new bike inner tube. So what I'm going to try and do is walk you through the process of replacing an inner tube on a bicycle tire. Yeah, this is the old inner tube that came out. And uh, you can see that this inner tube was twisted. Uh, you, you can just, you can tell that by looking at it, that it was twisted inside the tire. And that's actually <clears throat> the part of the inner tube that failed, was at, at this twist right here. It's actually this little bulge right here that failed. So I'm gonna try and make sure that the new inner tube doesn't get twisted. And uh, you want to make sure that this little band inside the rim is, uh, is, is where it needs to be, first of all, and that it's not bunched up and that it don't have any holes in it. Uh, if you don't have a band like this inside the rim on your bike, if, if you're changing a, a tube, uh, I would suggest trying to get one. Uh, you can actually make one out of an old inner tube if, if you really needed to, but uh, this is just a layer of protection to keep the spokes from, from rubbing against and poking a hole in the new inner tube. So I'm not real sure why it is that the inner tube twisted on the tire the way it did, but, or on the rim, I should say, not on the tire. But it did, so we're gonna try and make sure that that don't happen again. Now what I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna put the, the tire back on the rim and leave one side of it off so that I can get the inner tube into tire once it's on the rim. Now, getting the tire on the rim really isn't hard. Uh, it, it just kind of slides over and you just tuck the edges in. And then you need to find out where your valve stem is, where the hole is in the rim, which is down here on the bottom. Go ahead and stick your tube in there. Try and keep the tube straight. Try and make sure that you don't twist the tube as you're tucking it in to the tire and the rim. And the biggest thing is just, just be gentle with it. You don't wanna like, get it hung up on the spokes or, or on the axle, the gears here, and uh, poke a hole in the tube while you're trying to install it on the tire. That, that would be uh, not, not, not a good thing. Um, so. So I got the tube tucked into the tire, and I'm just going to push the rim, or the edge of the tire, the bead of the tire, just pushing it back over the rim with my hands. Now, they don't always go that easy. Sometimes you'll have to use a tool to, uh, to get the rim and the tire back together, and they make a special tool uh, that you can buy. It's got a little lip on it that'll go around the edge of the rim and you just kind of drag it around and it'll pop the tire on. It's much like putting a car tire on a car rim, really. Oh, also, you notice that this tire has basically a direction on it. So you want to make sure that when you put it back on that whatever tire is on your bike, if they are a directional kind of tire, that you have it running in the right direction. So I did. It's, it's pointing the way it's supposed to. Squeeze that, get that past the brakes. Yeah. I've got to get the chain down here and on the gears. And this is kind of the dirty part of the job, and if you got gloves, you should probably wear them. I have some. Did not bring them out here, so I guess I'm just gonna get dirty. 
So when you're tightening the axle down on the bike, you want to make sure that the front of the tire is centered in between the frame up here. So it is, the tire's running straight. So, okay, so got my air compressor out here and it's showing that I've got uh, about 60 PSI in the tank. So that should be plenty to air this tire up. So, see what we can do here. There you go. So, changing an inner tube, uh, pretty simple. It's gonna get a little dirty. So, uh, like I said, just consider wearing some gloves or something like that. But, uh, got a good tire on there now, uh, and it's ready to ride. Anyway, hope you learned something. Now, if you saw me do something that uh, you would have done different, please feel free to leave that down in the comments. Let me know how you do it. Um, anyway, that's how I change a tire, uh, how I change an inner tube out on a, uh, on a bike. Uh, pretty straightforward, pretty easy. Uh, minimal hand tools, like I said, get dirty though. So, thanks for watching. I appreciate you guys. And remember, pay attention to the details. See you again soon. Bye. Please subscribe to my channel if you haven't already and go ahead and hit the notification button so you know when I'm doing a new video. Like this video and leave me a comment down below. Let me know what you think. Also, feel free to share this with any of your social media sites.